are some of the differences and some similarities between Jehovah's Witnesses and Seventh-day Adventists. So basically compare J-dubs to SDAs. This is an interesting one. and In fact, I get asked this question on occasions. And I sort of have to do a bit of head scratching every time I get asked the question because I find it challenging to find... It's actually easy to discuss the similarities between JWs and Adventists because that's a much shorter list. Okay. Um, and so I don't have a lot of um, similarities that come to mind between the two religions. And maybe that there's somebody out there who knows these two religions, religions better than me that can you know, text in with, uh, with some comments. But, On uh, similarities. Yeah, similarities. So similarities. I mean, they're both Christian, Protestant. No, Jehovah's Witnesses are Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't class themselves oh. as Christians. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's a, that's that's a difference there to begin with, whereas Seventh Day Adventists very um, loudly proclaim themselves as Christians. It was almost a, probably a little bit unfair for me to uh, to sit here and give a one sided answer to this one. I'm just sort of thinking maybe we need to get a. Uh, a Jehovah's Witness, uh, um, you know, elder or uh, ministerial servant to come on the show and and put their side of the story as well. But his, for what it's worth, here's the one-sided version: is that um, okay? So some of the things that we have in common is that we both believe in the annihilation of the wicked. We do not believe in an eternal hellfire where God will punish um, sinners for the rest of eternity without ever ending. Amen. Um, we I understand that we both believe that the dead are sleeping in the graves. Uh, waiting for the resurrection. Uh, we believe in the importance of baptism. Um, there are some similarities. Now, the Jehovah's Witnesses tend to be conscientious, or well, are conscientious objectors, uh, so they don't become involved in government, whereas uh, historically Adventists have been non-combatants in war. And so a, a, an Adventist will become involved in, in war, and, you know, in the medical field or something like that, but not in a combatant role, historically. Um, I'm told that um, Jehovah's Witnesses don't use alcohol uh, and that witnessing is obviously, in, you know, that's what we know them for, they're Jehovah's Witnesses, their witnessing in, is important to both religions. I would go on to say that generally and broadly speaking, um, both religions promote, you know, holy, righteous living, being good neighbours, being, you know, um, upstanding uh, members of the community. And uh, that's always a positive thing. I think that's fairly general across, you know, all of Christianity and even all religions. But uh, I think that, you know, you meet your average JW, they come knock on your door. They're usually friendly. They're usually polite. Um, they're usually, uh, you know, they're, they're open for robust discussion if you would like to have that. And they want to give you something, but they never want to accept anything. I noticed that yeah, well. This is true. This is true. So what are some of the differences then? Okay, so there's, well, there's, where do I even start on that one? Basically, everything else is a difference. Is different. Okay. Um, and so, um, you know, they don't vote. We vote. They deny the Trinity. We believe in the Trinity. Um, they don't take blood transfusions because the Bible says don't eat blood. Um, whereas, as Adventists, we don't Encouraged. eat unclean foods or blood, but we do take blood transfusions because yeah. we don't see and them as being And we encourage donating eating. blood as well. We encourage very much donating blood, yes, absolutely. And uh, Mon is somebody who does that on regular occasions because her blood is gold. Mm -hmm. what, what type is it again? Oneg. Oneg. Come get go. it, baby. You know you want to <laughs> get my Oneg. Um, okay, so they have uh, fairly high standards, um, I'm told, for you know what you wear to church and that kind of thing. Now, Jehovah's Witness don't have Christmas, Halloween, birthdays, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, they have no to toasting at celebrations um, and so forth. They discard all items which might invite demons into your life. Not such a bad thing either. And complete avoidance of disfellowship people. So that's a little bit cult-like. And uh, there are many people who put forward an argument that uh, they fulfill, you know, the identifying marks of a cult. Um, but be that as it may, if, if that is the case, they are very peaceable people and they are very polite. And I've always had good interactions with them, even though we have many, many areas on which we disagree. And of course, they worship on Sunday, we worship on Saturday. And, you know, we could go on and on. We believe that uh, Jesus is the eternal Son of God, the creator of the entire universe, um, sovereign Lord of, you know, everything that exists, uh, etc. Et and that's probably one of the, the, the biggest areas of disagreement. Is And, and this is why... Seventh-day Adventists are classed as Christians, whereas Jehovah's Witnesses are called Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, both, both churches do door knocking. They do it as a requirement. 
Um, Adventist is not a requirement. And in my mind, um, I would argue that that is much more of a religion of works where you've got you know these requirements rather than recommendations. So just to backtrack for a second there, you said that um, we believe in Jesus as the you know the God and and uh, creator and and they don't. No, they believe that he was created. Jesus oh, was created, created as Michael the archangel. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's not as powerful or as. Yeah, it's it, it actually gets me a little bit confused sometimes mm-hmm. uh, because it's almost like have we got one God? Have we got two gods? Is Jesus God? Is he not God? Um, is he a created God? Or are there two? You know, and 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 maybe this is where we actually probably need somebody. To call who, up and um, clarify what's going on yeah, with their, their yeah, version of Jesus. We need our local friendly Jehovah's Witness to call in and uh, and to clarify for us um, exactly how that all works. Hmm, thank you very much, Lyle. I appreciate you having a crack at that one. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question of the day, or maybe you're a J-Dub and you want to clear some things up for us, give us a call now, 1-800-FAITH-FM, 1-800-324-843. You can text your question 491 or through any of our social media. For now, this is Jaden Lavig with Turn Your Eyes.